Hey folks, hey, what's going on? Hey, this is Wesley, Billion Dollar Virgin. Hey, I want you to jump in here real quickly. Um, I want to share some with you. Let me ask you one question before I get started here, okay? Jump in here, folks. Um, I'm at the pool just hanging out, enjoying life. All praises to the Most High. The sun is shining on my face. You know, I'm grateful to God. I'm grateful to the universe. Um, I want to do something. I'm going to ask you a question. How many of you don't know who you are? Okay, I'm going to say watch this video if you don't know who you really are, who you really are, okay? I get a lot of questions, and I want you to hit the love button if that's you. If you don't know who you are as a person, okay, Like, or if you don't know why you're here on the planet, you may say, you know, Wesley... Why am I here? What am I supposed to do? Who am I really? Because this is a question I had to answer years ago when um, life was tough for me. And the reason why I bring up this question, because just recently, a very, very famous person that you know, but I'm not going to say their name, asked me this. He said, Wesley, how do I find out who I am? Or how do I find out what I'm supposed to do when I'm not even sure who I am myself, Right. This happens to people when they get a lot of money, when they get a lot of fame. Um, they start to think about and realize that they don't even know why they're here on the planet. Because understand this, and I want you to write this down. Most people, they spend their entire lives trying to make money, trying to be famous, or trying to be healthy and fit and skinny and sexy, or trying to find the love of their life, or trying to have sex with someone that is very attractive. <laughs> And it's just the truth, okay? But what I want to do in this video real quickly for you, I want to tell you how this works. If you're confused about who you are as a person, if you're trying to figure, you know, what's my purpose? Why am I here? I don't know what my passion is. This video is for you. You know, I'm out here hanging out with my son and my daughter's over there hanging out. They don't want to be in my video because I guess they're just too fly for Wesley. Billion dollar version. That's cool. But... I love my babies, but it's all good. So check this out. Um, you might say, Wes, you know, who am I? You know? Let me get a good light. Hold on, guys. Let me let me find a good lighting. <laughs> let me find, where the light at, baby? Where the light? You know, I'm a little dark skin. Y'all want to meet my daughter? Hold on. Baby, you want to meet him? Come on. This is my baby right here. This is my boo. This is my baby, boo. Baby. Come on, wait, let me see your face, baby. It's my twin right here. Where you at, girl? I'm on the phone. <laughs> 14 years old, and uh, she is like bad and bougie. Look at her. It's my baby. She's beautiful. I love her to life. We're going to Costa Rica next week. <laughs> All right, so let me get back to it. Okay, so the question is, Wesley, who am I? Or, Wesley, how do I figure out who I really am as a person? And let me share with you what I gave that famous person. Very famous person there. We're cool. He's a good friend of mine now. Um, before you ask the question, like, who am I? My question to you is this. Who do you want to become? Okay. Now, I want to be serious right now, and I want you to really pay attention to me. I don't care if you're in your 20s. I don't care if you're a young person, an older person. Maybe you're um, in your golden years right now. I want you to think for a second. Because some of us, we pray to God, God, please tell me my purpose in life. Some of us go to psychics. Some of us, we go to monks. We go to monasteries. We go to uh, Buddha. We go to all these different sources trying to figure out what is our passion our purpose for living on this planet here okay and my question to you is this i want to talk to you personally you who do you want to become like like honestly what type of person do you want to be because let me be frank with you it is nothing out of the sky like the sky is beautiful today right it's nothing out of the sky that's going to come down, hit you in the head, and say, hey, 
Jennifer, you're going to be like this. Or Keon, you're going to be like this. This is your plan. Let me be honest with you. There's not a board that God or whatever you believe that has something that says, you know what, Wesley, you're like this. You're going to be like this when you get older. You're going to be poor. You're going to be rich. You're going to be successful. You're going to struggle. It, it, that board does not exist, which means is your life is not predetermined by some external source. Now, listen to me clearly here. Let me say that one more time. Your life is not predetermined by some external higher power or source. We use the source and we use the higher power to design our life based off what we want it to become. Okay? Which means is you have to make a decision consciously of who do you want to be in this place we call the universe. Okay? Am I making sense here? Hit the love button if I'm making sense. Let me share my story. How do you think I created Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin or Wesley Million Dollar Virgin? God didn't say, hey, Wesley, today I want you to be Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin and I want you to inspire people around the world. God didn't tell me, like, I didn't wake up one morning and God didn't say, hey, Wesley, I want you to go feed the poor. I want you to take care of hundreds and hundreds of people that are under the bridge in Houston, Texas. God didn't say, Wesley, I want you to inspire the world. He didn't tell me this. I made a choice to be like this and I'm using that infinite power the universe God Buddha whatever you want to name it I'm using that power within myself to permeate the world to be able to fulfill my purpose your purpose is what you say it is when you ask the question what is my purpose for living why am I here well, that's up for you to figure out, my friend. Am I making sense? It's up for you. You. You got to figure that out. Not your mama, not your daddy, not your counselor, not some uh, um, celebrity, not somebody that you watch on TV, not even Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. You have to figure out what your purpose is. You got to figure out. Who do I want to become to the world? You know, you look at celebrities, right? Famous celebrities, people that are doing very right, like Beyonce. I'm pretty sure Beyonce made a decision that she was going to be a very famous singer. I'm sure that Jay-Z made a decision that he was going to be a very famous rapper. I'm pretty sure that Drake, Dreezy, I'm, I'm sure that he made a decision a long time ago that he was going to influence masses amount of people with his music, with his artistry. I don't think a voice told them, hey, you're going to be a great singer. Hey, you're going to be a great chef. Hey, you're going to be a great teacher. Hey, you're going to be a great internet marketer. No, that is your decision. See, now, now the, then the issue is this. Okay. The, the problem is this You have learned And you have been conditioned That you must look outside of yourself To fix your problems Your issues Your situations Right Some of you look to God Can I get an amen Just tell the truth Some of you look to Your mom and dad You get in trouble Mama I'm in trouble Come save me Some of you have best friends Right That you confide in Well, I, I need your help I, I, I need your help, but you know, I don't know what I'm going to do here. Listen to me closely, man. I say this out of love. And I'm going to keep saying this. You know, I know some of you guys think I'm a preacher because I keep saying the same thing over and over again. But all you need is within you now, okay? Now, you have to understand that on a subconscious level. Now, how do I get that? See, consciously, you might say, I, Wesley, I know that. But you don't know it subconsciously, which means it's your actions and your behaviors are not aligned. If your actions and behaviors are not aligned to the things that you desire, you're not going to get the things that you desire. Like you're, you're not going to get to travel around the world, get on the private jets, you know, travel first class, have all the cars, have all the money that you want. You have to believe that on a very subconscious level. That everything that you want, that you desire, that you have the ability now to make those things real. 
I know that. I understand that on a very deep subconscious level. That's why my life is easy. I'm not saying that I don't have issues or problems or things that go maybe not so well. But if I if I like me, if I'm talking to you, if you believe in me and I'm and you're listening to me and I say all I need is within me now, that means everything that I want, any problem, is a problem I created. Any issue is an issue that I created. Any emotion that I'm feeling, like if I'm upset. If I'm angry, if I'm annoyed, if I'm pissed off, if I'm happy, I created that emotion. No one is creating nothing in Wesley Virgin. And what I'm telling you is this. No one is creating anything in you. If you're disturbed about your life, you have created that. If you think your life is going to be amazing, you are creating that as well. If you believe and you're grateful for the success that is happening right now in your life, well, you're creating that. If you want to know what your purpose is, it's up for you to decide what your purpose is. It's okay to not to know. But it's not okay to think that somebody else is going to tell you what your purpose is. You know why? Because it's your life. Like every day you get up. You got to put your clothes on. You got to wash your face. You got to wash your body. You got to go work at your job. You get in your... This is your life. Why would you want other people to take responsibility over your life? Why do you want other people to be an orchestrator or to be a director over your life? Why do you want people to influence you? Hey, go here. Do this. Wear this. Don't go there. Chill with these people. Stay right here. Don't work. That's your job. The problem is this. Many of you have relinquished your control to other people. But right now, while you're watching this video, as you're sitting there watching me, I want you, and I'm talking to you. Let me take these glasses off. I want you to take total control of your life right now, which means this. Understand this. As you grow, as you evolve in life. I am not going to tell you there are not going to be people around you that's going to try to disturb you, try to disrupt you. But understand this. The only thing people can do to you, minus touching you or trying to cause physical harm on you, is to make you feel differently emotionally. But guess what? If you're following me, if you know who I am, we believe in what is called emotional intelligence. As I say in many videos at WesleyVirgin.com, emotional intelligence is this, that no one can make me feel something that I don't want to feel. Maybe they can talk in a way to make me feel angry, upset, maybe try to bring tears to my eyes, but no one has power over you. Okay? Get that. No one has power on you. So guess what? As you're trying to determine what that purpose is for your life, while you're searching, while you're thinking about it, while you're researching what you like, what you don't like, while you're spending hours maybe meditating at night in your bed, and you're trying to figure out what do I want from my life, maybe you decide to pull out a journal and say, you know what, let me write this stuff down. What do I want from my life? What type of people do I want to be around? What type of impact do I want to make? What type of business do I want to build? What type of people of lives do I want to contribute to? This is what makes my life so juicy. It's not because I have millions of dollars, okay? That's a part of it. It's because I know my purpose and I know who I am. I am Wesley Billion Dollar Virgin. He is a God. He is powerful. He is outstanding. He is amazing. He's incredible. He is a lion. That's who I am. So since I know who I am, it's very difficult for other people to tell me who I'm not. Come on now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Am I preaching now? I'm not. I'm not. I'm going to let my daddy preach, not me. I want you guys to think about it for a second. You know, why are you watching me right now? Think about it for a second. Honestly, seriously. Who do you want to become? 
What type of person do you want to become? Because now you understand that no one is going to come down from the sky and tell you who you are and what you should be doing with your life. You have to do that. Trust me, you got the power to create whatever type of person that you want to be in this universe. Some people decide to be terrible people. Some people decide to be good people. Some people decide to be successful people. Some people decide to be poor people. Who do you want to become? Who do you want to become? See, what I see in the universe and what I see in a lot of people that watch me around the world is you're not focused. You're trying to do everything. But more importantly, you don't know who you are and what you stand for. See, many of you, you're only watching me because you want to make some money. But your life is more than some millions of dollars or billions of dollars. It's more than a car or a Lamborghini. See, you don't understand that until you get this. See, I didn't understand that until I got the Lamborghini, okay? Until I was able to spend ten, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 on clothes in Paris. Until I was able to go to the club and spend five Gs and not think about it on two hours of partying. My life is more than that. There's nothing wrong with that. We're having fun. We're celebrating. We're enjoying life. But your life has to be deeper than that. And to be deeper, you have to think about it. You got to think about, you know, what's going to fulfill me? These are the questions I want you to write down right now. Take out a sheet of paper and say, you know what, Wesley, I'm going to use my name. Wesley, what fulfills you? I'm going to use my son's name. Devante, what fulfills me as a person? What will fulfill me? Deja, what will fulfill you as a person? What will fulfill you? What will make you happy? What would make you want to get up every single morning with energy, with power, and say, thank God for another day. Thank God for another day I can live my purpose. This is why I'm excited every day, okay? Because I get another opportunity to live my purpose. What is my purpose? Contributing to other people. Helping other people. Serving other people. Period. That's my purpose. What's yours? Who do you want to be? Who do you want to become? What type of legacy do you want to leave? See, me, I want to live a huge... Uh, see, I think of life as a game. You know what I mean? Most rich, successful people do. They see life as a game. It's like we play in this game. Sometimes, you know, some days or some moments are not so good. Sometimes we have incredible days. Sometimes we cry. Sometimes we laugh. Sometimes we get upset. Sometimes we get bitter. But it's a game that we're playing every day. But guess what? Listen to me. It's up to you to decide if you win or not. Like today. I don't know what kind of day you had today. Me, I had a great day. I'm with my children. When, my, when I'm around my kids, man, I love it, man. I feel so amazing because they're so dynamic. They're so different. And they just keep me young as well, right? I do some of the things that they do. But the question is this.